Hey guys, it's Dr. Price with Action Potential Mentoring. In five days after a heart attack, two devastating things can happen. An intraventricular free wall rupture, as well as an anterior free wall rupture. So how do you know if it's the septum between the ventricles or if it's the anterior wall of the heart? Well, first off, the intraventricular septum is going to cause a loud holosystolic VSD. So it's shunting the blood from the left to the right side of the heart. An anterior free wall rupture, the problem of that is you're gonna get immediate hypotension and this is going to be more common in patients that had an infarct of the LAD, which supplies the anterior side of the heart. But remember, a free wall anterior rupture is gonna result in cardiac tamponade, whereas the intraventricular rupture is gonna result in a VSD. So tamponade for anterior, VSD for intraventricular free wall rupture. So you have to remember the difference between those two. If it's anterior, if it's intraventricular, you get different findings on your physical exam. This could be literally the only thing that helps you differentiate on a practice question. Because remember, the intraventricular wall ruptures as well as the anterior free wall ruptures, those both occur most commonly on day five after an MI. And so you have to be able to interpret those two findings to know the difference of what's happening in your patient.